Hello and welcome to Engineering Simple. In this video series, I'll go through and go through and calculate the line to ground fault that a tra uh, that an example of a transformer would be subjected to. Then see how can we reduce the line to ground fault. You know that way. You know, for instance, uh, you can buy a smaller breaker you know, that would have to interrupt only instead of say like 10,000 amps, 5,000 uh, 5, amps or 6,000 amps, because you might have a breaker that's in a switch gear. So if you buy a larger breaker, that means it needs to fit in the switch gear, the, you know, the switch gear would get bigger. You know, so if you want to reduce the size of the uh, switch gear cubicle where the breaker would would be housed, so so there are ways you can ground a, 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 a transform a transformer neutral you either solidly ground it uh, or you can put a, a reactor neutral grounding reactor or neutral grounding resistor so i'm going to go through and kind of go through calculate the line to ground fault then then we'll size a neutral grounding reactor that would be required to limit the fault line to ground fault current to a certain value. Then we'll go back and calculate that same uh, fault current limit with a neutral grounding resistor. Then we'll just assume solidly grounded and see the difference. So let's assume we have, again, so the, uh, sorry, the objectives of this, of this video here, basically we'll be able to, to, so learn how to calculate the line to ground fault current, reduce the fault current with a neutral grounding. We'll start with reactors, a reactor, then resistor, then we'll assume solid, uh, solid grounding, then we'll verify because each time you, you add a reactor or a resistor, you're adding impedance, then you may not maintain effective grounding of the system. And that's very important. So let's assume we have a 138 kV to 12 kV grounded Y, grounded Y transformer. So basically, this is a winding. So another winding. So H1 terminal, H2, H3, and here is the neutral, we can call it HO bushing, grounded. Then the same thing with the low voltage. So in this case, I'm assuming, so XO assuming uh, solidly grounded because I'm not putting anything in the neutral. So x1 x2 x3 bushing so this is the 138 kv side line to line voltage this is the 12 kv so here's a picture that i got from the internet so you would have a transformer and at so this is the neutral bushing. So it's grounded through, in this case, a reactor or inductor. So this is a reactor or inductor. So some of them might be mounted on the transformer and others might be like, a, there would be like a standalone support, you know, and it goes to foundation and it sits at the top then you bring the lead from the neutral to the neutral ground reactor. So if I want to represent this kind of with a diagram, so you would have the high side, so it's grounded, so H1, H2, H3, then the low voltage, 
x1, x3. Then the neutral is grounded through, in this case, is an inductor, so it has a reactance, some reactance x. Then it's grounded. So you'd have the bushing somewhere here, xo. So the XO bushing here, then it's connected to the reactor, then to, to, the, to the ground. You know, in what we'll see in set probably instead of a well, we'll try with a, a grounded reactor, then we'll try again with just a resistor, a grounded resistor. It has some resistance. So let me draw the one line. So I'll draw kind of the equivalent source. So here's the high side. And I have the transformer. So it's a grounded Y. Then and this is grounded Y2. And I have X. So this is 138 kV, this is 12 kV. So the transformer impedance, it's 11% on a 27 MVA. So the system positive sequence impedance, the high side basically, is 0.2%. And the zero sequence impedance of the high side system is 0.4%. So this is the high side, this is the low side. So what is the line to ground fault? What is the line to ground fault current? on the 12 kV side. So first, let's redraw the system. So we have the source. So we have the high side system impedance is 0.0%. Have the terminal H. Transformer is 11%. We have the low side then negative sequence is the same as positive sequence impedance without the source so you have the terminal H 11% external The zero sequence impedance point zero sorry zero point four percent then I have H point two percent the T model the equivalent T model forty eight point four 
So on, these are connected. So these are just positive, the sequence impedances. So this is the positive and negative. This is the zero sequence. So then we'll apply a line to ground fault on the low voltage. So the externals are connected to the ground. So the low voltage, so the X is here, so it's connected to ground. Then this here is connected to ground because this is grounded. So you would have three I zero would flow. So what I will do here, I will draw, basically if we add the neutral grounding, so it will be somewhere here because this is a low voltage and it will be three times. So for now I'm gonna call it three Z because it can be a resistor, it can be a ground, uh, a reactor. So basically, if you look at the low voltage, so if you put a low impedance grounding, so this here, so I'm gonna call it Z, so this is just X1, X2, X3. This is a reactor or resistor. But when you draw the sequence components, it becomes three times that. And we're trying to well determine what this value is of the reactor or the resistor. So I'll do that in the next video. Thank you and have a great day.